What's up, you guys? It's Jerry here, and you know the saying, what goes up must come down. Well, we just had the worst week in the stock market since the crash back in March, and now all the hypesters are talking about the next stock market collapse. What a bunch of drama queens. It was just two weeks ago that the S&P 500 reached its all-time high, and a pullback back to the 50-day simple moving average isn't that big of a deal, and it's certainly no need to panic. In fact, the 50-day moving average is acting as support, and if anything, that's actually a sign of a healthy stock market. As always, my weekend recap videos are short and sweet, and this week I only bought three stocks, and one of them I actually bought three different times. And one thing that's different about my channel than some of the others is I put my money where my mouth is, where I actually buy the stocks instead of just talking about them. Of course, I'm not a financial advisor, and this video is for entertainment purposes only, so grab a cup of coffee, or in today's case, a short shot of Bailey's, and hang on, because this is not your normal stock channel. The first stock I bought this week is Tesla. These images are from my free tools at jerryrollmine.com where in a matter of minutes you are taught proper risk management, how to research stocks, how and when to exit trades, and given a free stock portfolio with your custom trading plan. All fast and free. Check it out. I actually bought Tesla on three different days this week and I want to be clear that Tesla is a higher risk stock so don't invest in it with money you cannot afford to lose. Since the stock split, the Tesla run-up has been 100% hype and when the news hit that they did not get listed on the S&P 500 index, the stock dropped like a rock and I believe this is a nice buying opportunity. Tesla has battery day coming on September 22nd and I'm expecting Tesla to announce groundbreaking technologies that could drive their price back up to their recent $500 highs or even higher. And on Friday, one analyst actually doubled their price targets for Tesla. So here's why I'm bullish. Tesla is expected to debut battery cell innovations to boost energy density by roughly 50%, which could lower cell costs by $2,300 per vehicle over the next three years. This is huge because if Tesla can lower their vehicle costs, they will be much more price competitive and this will result in more cars being sold and higher profitability. The reason why I bought Tesla three times this week is because I like to buy with confirmation and you can see the charts are showing Tesla is bouncing off the 50-day moving average. I've been adding to my position because the Tesla the price is moving as expected and as battery day approaches I expect the price will continue to rise. The analysts currently have Tesla rated as a hold. The Beast Mode scorecard shows Tesla has a 52 week price range of $43 to $502. The PE ratio is 923. The year to date stock gain is an impressive 345%. Their title ratio is 1.42. Their revenue growth is 3.1%. The operating margin is 4.7%, their net income margin is 1.4%, and their levered free cash flow is 3.1%. And my cost basis for Tesla this week has varied from $361 to $372. Patrons, be sure to check out your Beast Mode spreadsheet on today's stocks, and hopefully everyone appreciates my transparency on these trades, and this lets you follow along with what I'm doing. The second stock I bought is Collector's Universe, and this is a stock you've probably never heard of. Ticker CLCT provides third-party authentication and grading services to collectors, retail buyers, and sellers of collectibles. Its authentication services focus on coins, trading cards, sports memorabilia, and autographs. This company has been flying under the radar, and it has solid financials. You should definitely check this one out. 13 different indicators have this rated as a 100% buy. The 52-week price range is $13.26 to $50. The PE ratio is 40.6. Their year-to-date stock gain is 109%. Their title ratio is 1.82. Their revenue growth is 8.9%. Their operating margin is strong at 19.7%. Net income margin is healthy at 13.7%. And their levered free cash flow is very good at 22.6%. My cost basis is $47.88, and this is a swing trade for me and I placed a 10% trail stop on it and I'll just let it ride and take profits whenever it drops back to the trail stop. And the third stock for me is Wheaton Precious Metals, ticker WPM, and I've made good money on gold stocks this year and when my custom indicators give me a buy signal, I pay attention. For the technicals, the charts have been consolidating and this year gold has performed as both a hedge and money-making stock at the same time. The Beast Mode scorecard has the 52-week price range of $18.66 to $57.89. The PE ratio is 66.9. The year-to-date stock gain is 79%. The title ratio is a very strong 8.55. The revenue growth is also very strong for a lower PE company at 19.2%. The operating margin is awesome at 40%. The net income margin is mind-blowing at 37.3%. Check out all these adjectives today. Oh my. And the lever free cash flow is 63.4%. And my cost basis is $53.04. 
And if you'd like to get a copy of the full Beast Mode spreadsheet, be sure to check out my Patreon page. Here's a little more information for you. If you want a copy of my Beast Mode spreadsheet, it's available on my Patreon page, and there's a special bonus section with valuable information just for Patreons. The cost is only $20 per month, and it's packed with value to help make you a better investor. And if you'd like to know more about when I take profits and sell the stocks, everything is covered in my video, How to Calculate Stop Losses and Take Profits. Be sure to check it out. If you enjoyed today's content, be sure to give me some YouTube love and check out the free tools for you at jerryromine.com. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and I'll see you soon on a fresh new video.